how did you find this topic? Actually, the topic has found me. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, in 2004, I met Alan Nicola, uh, who ran a, a renowned lab at that time, and uh, and uh, he's expert in uh, protein engineering, recombination targeting technologies. And uh, as soon as we uh, met, I was invited to his lab uh, to France. Um, and uh, basically, I, I fell in love uh, with this field. Uh, immediately. What would you say about your research in France during the Marie Curie scholarship? This was an international uh, grant. Uh, I was doing my postdoc there and uh, uh, if I can put like that, uh, I became a professional in that lab. So I was introduced in the classical genetic uh, field, genomics, next generation sequencing. So all of those fancy topics which were not really available in, in our lab in this time. After returning uh, to Debrecen uh, in 2010, I was about to reintegrate this know-how, this knowledge into the research, uh, research infrastructure and uh, expertise in, in my institute. And uh, the collaboration continued with, uh, with Alan's lab and, uh, and other labs as well involved in this science paper. The truth is that uh, I had to come back. There is a rule in my university, after two years, uh, faculty members has to return, otherwise uh, uh, we lose our job. So I, I, w uh, I returned and everybody was happy because I, uh, I was able to uh, bring something new to the field. I was also happy because I, I could continue my job uh, here. I'm a faculty member since 2007 in this uh, institute. How would you describe one typical day? Uh, first, we, uh, we take our kids to the kindergarten uh, and then I, I come to the lab. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm responsible for uh, uh, my own PhD student. I have master students to supervise and we are consulting with recent uh, experiments. Then I prepare for my lectures uh, here. As a faculty member, I'm involved in teaching biophysics, uh, biology, biostatistics, so I, I have to spend some time on preparing. Then I give my seminars, uh, practices, whatsoever, and uh, in the remaining time I, I do my own, own experiments. And, um, and basically this is really typical. What I would like to emphasize is that teaching is, is not an option here, it's obligatory. And this is important because university we are applying for the same grants uh, as the academic uh, labs, not, in, not really involved in teaching. So after my lectures I'm at the bench, I'm doing my own experiments and uh, when I can stop, whatever it means, <laughs> I get home and uh, uh, playing with my children and, uh, and basically that's it. They are one and a half year old, uh, twins, so this is the time this is their time. This is one of the most uh, most famous, the leading leading journal in the field of uh, interdisciplinary sciences, and uh, it is uh, intricate to get into science. So you have to find something very important. Okay. Uh, at the moment, we, we can say that this is a basic research. You know, so probably this will trigger and boost other. Uh, translational research group to incorporate these new new data into their uh, research uh, and on the long run who knows uh, certain type of diseases can be uh, uh, can be cured with with new new kind of medicine and so on I don't know the project coordinator uh, basically this project had two coordinators one from Marseille and Sangeli and one from uh, uh, Paris Alain Nicola and uh, they are very good scientists I can tell you and uh, and uh, I immensely benefited from their, their experience and knowledge, so I'm, I'm very uh, grateful to, to them. Big chance for the future to, to apply for international grants, good collaboration co partners, and on top of all that, a friend. I must emphasize this, uh, uh, this work. Uh, we are shared co-author with Laura Aquaviva uh, from Marseille, who, who uh, was working day by night on this project, and uh, he's a really nice personality, and uh, we became friends, very good friends. I would like to stay at Hungary. I'm not planning to, to live abroad. You know, my roots, 
just tied me here and uh, I would like to stay at Debrecen. I'm satisfied with my position here. This is a nice university with, uh, with a uh, great atmosphere, nice uh, research infrastructure and I'm, I'm satisfied. What about a new research group? This would be the plan for the, for the uh, future, yes. I would like to establish my own research group. Uh, on the long run. For that I need to bring in some uh, international and, and national grants. So there is Landlet at Hungary, so my next big project uh, will be to apply for Landlet and other uh, grants and uh, if I'm lucky enough I can get this. We have been investigating the uh, behavior of chromosomes. Uh, chromosomes contain the DNA molecule, which is the hereditary material, which is liable to damage during the life cycle uh, of the cell. And this damage must be healed in a process called uh, recombination. And uh, we would like to understand uh, what makes a recombination site. We know that recombination sites do not uh, distribute randomly along the chromosomes. There are preferred sites uh, called hotspot. And, uh, we managed to identify a protein molecule which is responsible uh, for bringing the DSB, the double strand break uh, forming enzymes to the chromosome axis.